podcast. Um, this is David. I'm here alone. Uh, Kevy's away, and Alexi had better stuff to do. So they just put me in this shitty office chair. It's actually not shitty. It's pretty comfortable. Um, I have no guests. It's just me. Uh, this is really weird. Well, um, I mean, it is COVID, so I sh- sh- probably should be alone. So we're doing a good thing. So you should be alone. Except it doesn't really work in a talk show format. So I'm kind of fucked in this place. Uh, so thanks, Kevy and Alexi for just um, kind of leaving me in the lurch. Uh, yeah, I like, I like talking to guests. Guests are fun because you can actually ask questions. Um, I had a good morning. I heard skip the dishes. I got a soup and sandwich from a place called Burgoo. It was lovely. Pulled pork and ham. <laughs> And corn chowder. And then I instantly had diarrhea. I'm not even lying. But uh, if I was going to, I would have asked, I would have, yeah. I don't really have any questions for myself. Actually, I was thinking like a two, I, I, I've always wanted to give a two-part question. Like, a, like um, if you... What, or it could be an animal. What would you be and where would you live? That's two parts. And I, I think I, I would be a lynx. Uh, and I'd live up in the mountains with all the snow because that, there, it, that would be, it's majestic. Um, yeah, and no one talks to you. Just like this podcast. Except there's no snow and beautiful scenery. But, um, yeah, it's really good. It's a big room. It's actually pretty cold in here. I guess they're cutting back on the heat, saving some dough during this, these times. How's everybody doing? I'd like to thank Kevin. And Alexi for putting me in this position because it's really, really soothing. Never felt so awkward in my life. Uh, I'm thinking about taking up knitting. True story. Just because it's so boring and I wanted to try to see if I could actually could knit. Nothing crazy. Maybe a doily. Is that a doily or the, is the small ones, right? For your drinks. It's like a size of a coaster. I'll start with a doily. And then maybe a cat blanket. Smaller, but bigger. It's another. So it starts this big and then get this big. Kind of like a horse dick. <laughs> no, just kidding. Just kidding. Um, yeah. Well, horse. I mean, if the horse wasn't horny and then he got horny, that would be my goal in knitting. That's I would measure my size of knitting by the size of a horse's boner. Oh, just heard someone yelling again. Well, that could be my guest. I could yell out loud. Hey, what's your favorite chip? <laughs> I don't think they heard me. I wish they did. This is this is this is good. Um, my favorite chip is Old Dutch uh, Mexican chili. It's a good chip. They don't sell it everywhere, but if you can find it, uh, it's really good. After about five, you're over it because the flavor isn't the best. The first two are really good. 
<clears throat> right, guest? Nope. Yeah. Actually, this chair is pretty nice. It's a little uh, too straight up. I was going to say something, and I, I stopped myself before I said it. Because it was really inappropriate. Um, it's good lighting in here. I feel uh, constricted. <laughs> There's a chair beside me in the outside of the camera, and it's uh, just it, sit, facing the other way. It's really weird. That's usually where the guests would be. But they're, they're not here. There's the chair. There should be a human in it. But people have stuff to do, I guess. Like, like Kevy, he, he decided to go to Los Angeles f f for two and a half months. <sighs> thinking about having, thinking, I'm going to order in again tonight. They leave it at your door and then knock and leave. So you don't have to see them. They usually take way longer than they should. And it's cold. But still, you don't have to even walk 10 feet. So it's that's a plus. I order it a lot. I even ordered Burger King once. <laughs> it was really gross. It came cold. I ordered a Whopper with cheese. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. It's medium. Junior Whopper. With no cheese or tomato. Just the meat. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it. it's really quiet in here. Spooky quiet. Ha. Yeah, that's right. That would that was my reaction to it. The guest they were here. Oh, yeah. So you enjoy what you're doing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that must be tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet. I bet. Good for you. Well, I... Things are going good then. <laughs> yeah, that's what I would be saying. I guess I'm saying it to myself. Hi. Oh, we're back. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then, uh, you know, thinking about buying a new car, what kind of car do you like? I like, uh, I like Toyotas. That's good. Yeah, it is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to buy a Toyota. They're really good on gas. I don't like gas stations. I like gas station sandwiches. We're talking a lot about food today. I like sandwiches at gas stations. Some of them are pretty good. But again, you get a tummy ache because I think it's probably poorly made. And I don't think the expiration date is truthful. But tuna sandwiches from the gas station are, are the tops. I get that and I get my old Dutch Mexican chips. That was a callback. And I get a Powerade and I drink it and eat it in my car and mope. And then I go to my destination. <laughs> what do you do? That's right. You don't do anything. Because no one's here. Oh. <laughs> and then... Yeah, it's actually quite relaxing a little bit. Once the sheer anxiety goes away, it's like a blanket of calm. Right? Good. I don't know how long it's been. Oh, really? <laughs> 
Oh, my producer is telling me it's been a while. I can't believe how quiet it is. I want to thank, oh, is there any sponsors? Do we have any sponsors? No sponsors. Rats. Should get a sponsor. I could, uh, might all. <laughs> That'd be a good sponsor. All right. Might all PM. Stops the cramps and puts you to sleep. That's a real thing, I think, too. Isn't it? Yeah. Yes. I'm sorry, I shouldn't be saying that because I haven't experienced a menstrual cramps. But if I did, I would reach for Midol PM. Once again, that's Midol PM. Do you want to sponsor us? Maybe that or Doritos Cool Ranch. It's a good chip, too. The other day, a guy told me that he dips his Doritos Cool Ranch in sour cream. And I told him to go fuck himself. Because <laughs> that's messed up. Actually, it's pretty good. That's actually a good idea. I might try that. I can hear birds. It's so quiet, I can hear the birds outside. This is fucked. I'm pretty psyched about the new year. Because things are going really good. They're only getting better. Huh? <laughs> yeah. But oh, I can't even... I can't cross my legs because my wallet's too thick. This is the part where I'd cross my legs. And then the guest would be like, oh... You cross your leg. Um, oh, sorry, I had an itchy eye. I um, I don't want to have my legs crossed. Can they? Can is it on my whole body? Is it your whole body? Oh boy, I hate sitting out in the open because everyone can see your pouch. <laughs> Usually when you're with someone else, they'll go back and forth. But the whole time it's going to be on David's pocket. Rocket. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I usually, you sit like this anyways. I sit like, if you're at like a, if you're in class or at a seminar, you'd sit like this. Or no, you'd have your hands on the table. Ready to write down notes. I'd have them down here. <laughs> or I'd be writing my notes. I don't know. Oh, at weddings I do this. When you're in the church. Because you're, you're in the pew. You're on the bench. You have nowhere else to put your hands. Or no, here. No. It's always here. This is weird. Do you sit like that at church? <laughs> they do <laughs> unbelievable riveting there's a um oh uh oh oh this is the best action I've had I think he climaxed <laughs> yeah what happens if I pull on this Oh, it's connected to the... Uh-oh. Oh, no, that looks like shit. There. Is that bad? <sighs> it's cold in here. <laughs> I guess there's no heater. Oh, that's a heater. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not that cold. But that is the heater. Yeah. So we can. I just like to know that I could have heat if I wanted it. Now it doesn't make me as anxious. Ooh. <laughs> um. Yeah. 
Well, you know, yeah, you're right. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> that That's what talk show hosts do. Ho, ho, hoo. Yeah. Let's talk about your new book. <laughs> yeah. That's usually the reactions. Oh, oh, I hear you can do an impersonation. Let's hear it. <laughs> right? That's no. Oh my goodness. You know what I hate? Lint. Seriously, it's bad. Ever since I started doing my own laundry, it's everywhere. And you have to change the lint and the the, the dryer lint thing. It's fucking full every time. One load is full. And then for some reason, I've cleaned it up really well, but then it always gets behind the dryer and washer. No way it could have done that. I made sure that I didn't get it anywhere other than in my hands in the trash. But then you look down on the side of the dryer and there's shit everywhere. There, no? Lint everywhere every time. And you can't get it. Can't get down back there. You can use a broom, but you got to get the broom in and then the lint's all over the broom. Then you got to go outside and shake it off like a piece of shit. Lint's the worst thing on the planet. It, that's lint, right? That, that stuff? Yeah. I guess it's par clothes particles. Like if I was to put this in the wash, all the lint would be pink. <laughs> so fuck you, lint. You get everywhere, even though I try my hardest to keep you contained. It's dog shit. Someone's in the bathroom now. It's so quiet in here and it's only me that I can hear everything that goes on in this fucking building. The dryer was just on. Now they open the door. And they never shut it. <laughs> Must have taken a dump. <laughs> Gotta air it out. <sighs> How's everybody doing? I wish you had a desk in front of me. And then I could pound it. Rats! Huh? Rats! I only slept for two hours last night. Rats! Mm. I woke up at four and watched Star Trek The Next Generation. Totally true story. First season. I can't remember that Captain Picard, uh, that actor's name. I should know it. I don't know it. But even bald, he's handsome. Mm-hmm. John Luke. <laughs> yeah. Do you like Star Trek? <laughs> My guest likes Star Trek. Fuck you. I hear chatter. Remember that Whisper 3000 or 2000? Do you remember that? It came out in the 90s. It was an ear device where you could hear shit, a pin drop from across the room. Wish I had that right now. I don't think they sell it anymore. I think they do sell hearing, or no, no, well, they sell that. Hearing aids. Those are pretty cool. I'm happy I don't have to use one. Sorry for anyone that has one. <laughs> they're really, they're, they're cool. I wish I could play the piano. Uh oh. There's all kinds of noises in here. I feel like I'm in a haunted house. <laughs> Sorry, I smelled the microphone. It's 
smells like elbow pads. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I guess that's our show. Thanks for thanks for coming on. Oh, I guess during COVID, I, oh. <sighs> yeah, don't shake anyone's hand. Just give them the elbow. Thank you. <laughs> Is that it? Bye. That was fucked. <laughs>